All right, and finally grape. Grape always kind of stand alone, don't they? A um, lot of, a few homeowners have wine grapes or some of the viniferas or hybrids, um, but overall we're gonna see kind of the same diseases on each one. Black rot, the number one disease in grape. Black rot, um, the black rot pathogen is going to infect at about one inch growth. That's long before flowering, okay? Just because we don't see symptoms until later in the season, infection is very early. Um, black rot can affect leaves, so very distinct symptoms on leaves, but then moving on to uh, berries, overwintering on those mummies. All right, so how do you manage it? That's a really tough one. Sanitation, critical, whether you use fungicides or not. Fungicides, pretty much if you want edible grapes, fungicides are gonna be, are gonna be um, required and um, organic fungicides, sulfur, is, has not been effective in any trials that I'm aware of. Powdery mildew really common. You're always going to see powdery mildew unless it becomes really severe. Usually homeowners will kind of ignore that one. But powdery mildew um, is going to start sporulating. So it'll, it'll overwinter under bark, under cracks and crevices in, in bark and canes. And it's going to start sporulating at a rainy 50 degrees Fahrenheit very early in the season. All right. So just because you don't see it until later doesn't mean that management does not begin much earlier. So a good, um, a good oriented vineyard with good air circulation is critical for any diseases in grape because grape can get pretty dense, especially if you're using some of the um, hybrids or even the concords, etc. Resistant varieties, I highly recommend. Otherwise, grape are a very high input crop. Downy mildew. Downy mildew is a water mold, okay? So it's more closely related to the Phytophthora and the Pythium than our other fungal diseases. Just because we call it mildew does not mean it's related to powdery mildew. It's much different. Downy mildew is also an early infector, okay? It needs water though. Rainy seasons like this year make that pathogen really, really happy. Uh, fungicides are almost always required. Um, you can manage it with some of the organics. Um, that's a choice of a homeowner, but resistant cultivars, I do recommend. All right, so in summary, um, how, do you, how do you remember all of this? And I didn't go into any real specifics. Start with a lot of our fact sheets. We've got a lot of things online. Again, we've created these new guides that focus on cultural practices and then give you options of fungicides, both organic and um, conventional. The Midwest um, fruit publications, the Midwest fruit workers have a lot of publications out there. I'm slowly trying to get them onto our site. We also have a Midwest uh, fruit workers home fruit um, guide. So those are all online on our website. And then the fungicide guides, besides these new ones, I had some others on, online last year that I started. Um, and then um, some of those should list cultural practices, especially these new ones, if not um, both commercial and um, residential are available for you.